Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can connect to our EC2 instance through our command prompt or Windows command prompt. For that, we need to make our system as SSH client that can connect to your EC2 instance or EC2 server. And for this connection, for to establish this connection, we need the RSA key pair that we can download while creating your EC2 instance. The key pair will be used to connect to your SSH client with EC2 machine. The key pair will be used for the connection establishment with your EC2 instance through your SSH client. So let's start. Before starting, you need to check that your system must have the open SSH client installed as the feature. So for that, simply go to your system settings and search for the optional features. Optional features and here you must have open SSH client installed open SSH client as I am already having this installed if it's not listed in your installed features list then you can simply go for add an optional feature by clicking on view features and search and install the feature if it's not installed in your system and after installation you might be asked to restart your system so this is the pro process to start with the SSH client so after this Log in to your AWS console here. Go to EC2 client or you can search for the EC2 service. If it's not listed in your recently visited services, then you can also search for the service and click from the listed services. This is my EC2 dashboard. So I am currently having zero instance running. So simply click on launch an instance. For this you need to provide a name, demo EC2, suppose I am giving this, you can provide any name and for next step you need to select the Amazon Linux AMI, suppose I am selecting Amazon machine image as Amazon Linux AWS, you can select any other machine as well. Next you need to select instance type, I am selecting free tier eligible t2.micro, you can also go for other instance type. Next step in the process is to create the key pair. If it's not already created, let's see how we can create a new key pair. For this, you need to provide a name, key, new. And for the uh, SSH connect connection, you need .pem extension of the RSA key. If you want to connect through PuTT, then you need to download .ppk file. Otherwise, you can also use putty converter to convert your PEM file to .ppk. For time being, I am using only PEM file because I am going to work with OpenSSH. After providing name, click on create key pair and it will automatically download your key pair and the name will be prompted in your key pair field. Next setting you need to change is to assign the public IP. As we need the public IP address to connect to our, to our EC2 instance, so we need to enable this property if it's default disabled. And also allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic that we can also uh, change these settings later on but just for ease we are selecting at the time of creation and edit the network settings and enable this. Enable auto assign public IP so that your public IP is assigned for your EC2 instance and after all these settings click on launch instance. Here for this I have not chosen any VPC subnet so I am only using the default version. This is the default VPC connected to my system and this is the default subnet connected to the uh, VPC and my system will be launched, my instance will be launched in this default subnet. So if you want you can create your own VPC and subnet and all. So I am using the default one. After these 
properties and changes click on launch instance to launch your EC2 instance and it may take a while to launch here my uh, instance is created so let's check after initialization it may take a while to get to active state or running state as the state is still pending you can refresh for the updated status of your instance because instance must be in running state for connection for any type of connection as uh, ssh connection direct connection now it's in running state so we are good to go for the connection so select your ec2 instance and click on connect before this you can always check for the properties this is my public ip 54.226.167.241 this will be used for the connection and another thing i need is the key this key pair associated and launches key hyphen new my system or my instance is also provided a private ip address but for connection and uh, for launch we will be using the public ip only so here after selection click on the connect and this time we are not connecting ec2 instance directly but we are using ssh client and for that you need to copy this command this is the full fledged command it will open your ssh client and locate the private key as well for the ec2 user ec2 user is the default username for your instance you can provide other name as well but this default name is ec2 hyphen user and this is if you remember this is the public ip address of my instance so we will be using this complete package means ssh client key pair username username or instance name and the public ip address of your instance that is your this complete is identifying your amazon machine object or your ec2 instance so you need to copy this command and after copying simply open the command prompt and here we need to move to the folder where the key was downloaded when you downloaded the key you need to check the path where it was downloaded and then as my key was downloaded in download so i am moving to downloads folder by change directory command and now i need to paste that ssh command full fledged command so simply right click and it will paste your command to your command prompt and ssh hyphen i this is your key ec2 user and this is the public ip of your ec2 instance and after this click enter and it will prompt you for the confirmation are you sure you want to continue connecting yes after that this connection is established means you are using your ec2 instance through your command prompt windows command prompt with ssh connection this is your complete command prompt if you want you can move to the root user by using the sudo su command and you can uh, run any other command means you can do any installation with your server you can uh, create any directory folder with your system uh, with your ec2 instance it will be created means all the work you are doing here all the command you are running over here this will be run with your ec2 instance so that's it for this video thanks for watching and happy learning